Last time I checked, they're spending $500,000 a month on marketing. Where do they market? They market on Instagram. If you go today, like if you're going online and just type in bedroom rentals, you can see the algorithm starting to follow you around on Google. You can see it starting to follow you around on Facebook. You can see it starting to follow you around on Instagram. You can even see it starting to follow you around on YouTube. So they're doing marketing on all these uh, uh, sites to curate that member, right? So they'll have like promos. Um, what I've seen a recent promo was um, uh, win $5,000 or a Visa gift card for hundred bucks. So they're enticing these consumers to sign up on their platform. Now, when they sign up on their platform, it's my understanding and I tell people to do this, I haven't done this yet. You can sign up as a consumer to see what the interface looks like. Right? See what the qualification process looks like. It kind of gives you a better idea. I haven't done it yet, but I know other people have. I ask because there's certain places where jobs that you know are cyclical. Every year on Medical Row in Orlando, every June and July, all the residents change. Yep. Okay? So Correct. we used to do that at the Grand, you know, and you, yep. could, know, you could market down in the cafeteria as, mm -hmm. as, as in health or whatever. Yep. So there are places that have so, cyclical jobs. Any yep. university has um, yep. different you know, yearly things. So yeah, actually, so Matt asked me on the way here, he's like, hey, um, can you market your property? Uh, does Pat's have like a link or something you can market your property? When you go on the promo tab on the dashboard, they have a promotion tab, they actually generate a, a flyer for you with a QR code on it. And you can actually put that in hospital uh, uh, hospitals or you can, you can put it wherever you want. You can put it on Facebook, stuff like that. I have put them on Facebook. Or first time home buyers. Them yeah, them. yeah, exactly. You could, you could. This is ideal for people, right. first-time students right. and stuff. Right. This is ideal for anybody who needs a transitioning period. This is not a forever solution. This is for somebody who's like, hey, I'm saving up to buy a home. I don't want to put first, last, and security. Or maybe, hey, I'm a person who I can't qualify for first, last, and security or three times the rent. I just can't get into those homes. It's too expensive. Somebody who's in a transitioning period in their life. Somebody needs a, a stepping stone. Again, going on the pad split statistic, they're saying seven to nine months is the average retention rate for someone to stay in a bedroom. Seven to nine months. Okay. So, all right, check this out. So this is another room. And I think Andrew, you might have, you're like, oh dude, I didn't see the vision of this room before yet. So just imagine guys, and I'm just trying to give you guys the vision, right? This room right here is a room that had no walls, no nothing. There was nothing. Literally, this was part of the living room. So this is where you make your money on pad split. You make your money by taking the dead, empty spaces that would be collecting dust and turning them into bedrooms. So this right here is gonna be a premium bedroom. One, because of size. Two, because of the bed size I'm gonna have. I'm, either gonna, I'm gonna have a queen in here as well. I'm gonna have a ceiling fan in here as well. I have the, the, uh, the reaching closet. And guess what? This person has access to their own porch. I'm actually going to, I'm actually going to put some patio furniture out here. And so they'll have access to their own private porch. In their backyard? They'll have access to the backyard if they wanna walk out there too. This won't be locked. So they can walk out there if they want. Anybody can walk out there, but these other members, they have to walk out the front door to get to the back of there. So this individual can actually go out there and enjoy a cup of coffee or read and stuff like that. So I'm actually showcasing this property on pad split. What I'm doing is I do a, a, a floor plan of the property, right? A, a blueprint showing them what they get when they book this, this unit. Now you can also do, they also give you an opportunity to do the Matterport. You can actually upload a Matterport link into there. The only problem I've seen with that and I haven't found it, maybe you guys know, um, the Matterport sites that these photographers house that link on, they only allow it for like 30 or 45 days and then they eliminate that. I haven't found one that says, hey, I'm not, I won't charge you. I had a guy try to charge me like, I don't know, it was like 20 bucks a month for the Matterport link, right? To keep it active. I don't know if there's a free site, somebody might know, but if somebody knows, should, please let me know, or if any of the viewers drop a comment below, let me know. Uh, but the Matterport allows that person to actually walk through the property as well. You know you're very familiar with Matterport because you're a realtor. Uh, you guys are probably also familiar with uh, Matterports. But when you're showcasing your properties, invest in a professional photography, right? It's just like, you know the, the value of professional photography. You know the value of professional photography. You have to showcase your property. People shop with their eyeballs. I was at a uh, pad split panel I spoke on the other day. I think you were there. Yep. One guy's doing little triangles on the corner of his pictures talking about like, he's got like a Roku TV, he's got queen bed. He puts all the amenities like just on the corner of each picture. So when they're scrolling through, it's just kind of an extra marketing piece reminding them, right? Remember, a confused buyer never buys. So we wanna make sure that these people end up knowing what they're getting and it's very quick, they understand. We live in a society, everything's on demand. Think about Amazon, think about Uber, think about Uber Eats, right? So these all have TVs in them? Yes, they will. Now, 
My la this is another thing I played with. My last property doesn't have TVs. I didn't do any TVs, and for people who've been watching my content for a while, you'll see on some of my content I mentioned not putting TVs in the property um, for two reasons. One, because of noise, but I'm starting to add TVs. As I see that this is uh, a business model that more people are getting into it, and it's gonna get more competitive over time, I always have to think of uniqueness. How do I stand out? So I will add TVs in every single one of these bedrooms. These walls, again, that you guys are standing right behind are all soundproofed. I didn't just soundproof that front one. Every single wall that I put up, especially the ones that are adjoining right here, I don't want Bob on the other end of this room and then Susie on this room and then she can hear him playing his uh, um, YouTube videos. Yeah, exactly. My very first property, I also didn't do TVs as well. What I did notice though, the members were actually buying and bringing their own TVs in, which I was totally fine with. That could save you costs as the operator. But the only downfall about that is, is when you go to market the property on pad split, you might not be able to market as well as Susie down the road who has a pad split as well, right? So you might want to go ahead and do that as your initial investment. This, so do you get a higher speed internet when you put that yeah, in the TV? I, I have, um, I do on mine, I do 500 uh, uh, megabytes on all mine. So I haven't had any issues. Now, typically the internet companies will say, oh, how many devices do you have? And they're always gonna upsell you and they wanna sell you on the phone package and they wanna sell you in the cable package, this and that. I have had no problem with 500 at all my properties, you know? Just yeah, just internet. I don't do cable because yeah. everything is streaming these yeah. days. Streaming services like Roku, you could do Roku TVs and get in each room and then that's another upsell you could put in your, um, your marketing is like, hey, I have Roku TV or I have Samsung TV or what whatever type of smart TV you have, put it in there so people know what they're getting, okay? So anyway, so if Susie Q's in this bedroom, she gets this big old porch, which I'm gonna put furniture in this. My last property, by the way, I have a room just like this. I didn't put furniture in the porch. Remember, as I'm going through this, and I'm, I've done as many rooms as I've done, I've done as many properties as I've done, I've, I'm playing with things. I'm seeing what works, what doesn't work. Again, me going into this, and I wanna stand out, I wanna be able to market and showcase somebody that, hey look, hey, can you imagine yourself having a cup of coffee in this big old bedroom, right? Like, this is like an apartment. Yeah, it's like an apartment, right? exactly. It's like, a, it's like an apartment, right? So they get all this. Another thing you might notice too, we, we're blocking this off. This will look a lot cleaner and finished. We're not allowing people to use the fireplace. I don't want people to start burning logs in here and they get, you know, no, it ain't gonna happen. <laughs> so, yeah, you can take those logs with you.